We are still tracking Tropical Storm Aaron. No major changes in the forecast. Still expected to become our first hurricane and our first major hurricane of the 2025 season. You notice the forecast track here hasn't changed a lot. As we move into the weekend, we expect to have those winds of 115 up to maybe 125 miles per hour as we go into Tuesday. So is expected and forecast to become a major hurricane. Spaghetti models, they've changed just a little bit. They've wibble wobbled a little bit from west to east, but notice they're still in pretty good agreement with each other as the storm's gonna be moving generally towards the west northwest, turning more towards the west, we'll say northwest, and then more towards the north. So still pretty good agreement at this point. Here's what's expected to kind of steer tropical storm and future hurricane Aaron have this Bermuda high here, another high pressure system near the east coast of, of the United States. And then they'll find a little bit of a weakness here. This would be the escape route as some people like to call it. So there will be a little bit of a weakness here. You have the high pressure clockwise here. You also have this area of high pressure clockwise here. So follows the path of least resistance. At least that is the forecast at this point. And as it continues to move generally towards the west, northwest is starting to move into that window of the seven to 10 days, that area where we'll have to keep a close watch on it because things can still change as it does move a little bit closer to the continental United States. Also watching this area that's gonna be moving into the Bay of Campeche, only a small chance for that to develop into something at this point. 